All right, it is Saturday. What is it? Uh, January the second, twenty twenty, year of our Lord. This is Justin William Savoy, and I'm wanting to upload a quick video. Uh, my three younger sons are here, so I'm very busy with them, but we're having a blast, um, and we're just uh, enjoying one another's company. And it's so nice to have them around. So I thank God for that. And I want to look at this book here. You know, honestly, I don't really know anything about David Talbot Rice. It's just a random. I have this book um, on a table by my bedside. And I had found this and got this book for free. So I figured, why not? It's a subject that's definitely an interest of mine. So, Russian Icons by David Talbot Rice. It's a King Penguin book. I'm going to go to the back here where there's the list of plates. I'm having a little bit of tea this evening. Uh, I thought this would be a great time just to look at this um, quickly. Make a short video just to keep the content going. Um, list of plates. Our Lady of Vladimir, 11th century Constantinople. St. Demetrius of Salonika, 12th century Kiev. 3. The Archangel Michael, 1350 Novgorod. Our Lady Assembly, 14th century Peskov. I don't know how to say that. Um, quadra, quadra Paratite Icon, 5th century Novgorod. Crucifixion, 5th century Suzdal. St. Boris and Gleb, 4th century Suzdal. The Descent into Hell, attributed to Andrei Rublev, early 5th century. The Old Testament Trinity by Andrew, Andrew Rublev. Copy of Our Lady of Vladimir, probably by Andrew Rublev, early 5th century. The Zevengorod Nativity, 5th century Moscow. The Washing of the Feet. End of the 5th century Moscow, entry into Jerusalem, early 16th century Moscow, Saints Floris and Laris, mid 16th century Novgorod, Virgin and Child by Pro Procopius Turin, 17th century, the Tsarvik Dmitri and Prince Roman of Uglich. Early 17th century. Our Lady of Vladimir. 11th century Constantinople. <clears throat> Saint Demetrius of Salonika, 12th century Kiev. The Archangel Michael. Thirteen fifty Novgorod. Our Lady Assembly, fourteenth century Peskov. Maybe it's pronounced Gov. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I have to search that out. Quadriparatite icon, 5th century Novgorod. Crucifixion, 15th century Suzdal. Saints Boris and Gleb, 14th century Suzdal. The Descent into Hell, Audre Lebev, early 5th century. The Old Testament Trinity, Rublev, 1410, famous icon.
perhaps the most famous that he wrote. A uh, copy of Our Lady Vladimir, probably Andrew Rublev, early 15th century. The Zvenigorod Nativity, 5th century Moscow. The Washing of the Feet, end of 5th century Moscow. The Entry into Jerusalem, early 16th century Moscow. Saints Floris and Levius, mid 16th century Novgorod. Virgin and Child by Prokopius Churin, 17th century. The Tsarevich Dmitri and Prince Roman of Oglich, early 16th century. Seems like a pretty lengthy little write-up here. I see there's some mention here. Let's see. They are the result in the first place of the fact that external conditions in Orthodox Christian area have been peculiarly unfavorable to the survival of fragile works of art. And in the second, of the localization of the Orthodox faith in Eastern Europe and Russia. But when once the few publications containing good reproductions have been traced and a few originals have been seen, the first misconception of the nature of the icon is rapidly dispelled and a new surprisingly rich vistas are disclosed. It is hoped that the 16th 16 plates in this volume will give some idea of the richness of the field and will also serve as an incentive to further exploration. First among published works, a short bibliography is given, page 39. <clears throat> Let's refer to them as sacred items and not works of art, huh? <clears throat> A short bibliography. Enismov A.J. Our Lady of Vladimir, Prague, 1928. A short monograph on a work of primary importance. Grabar I. History of Russian Art, Volume 6, in Russia, Moscow, 1914. The Most Comprehensive Study of the Subject. Kondakov, N.P., The Russian Icon, translated by E.H. Minz, Oxford, 1927, an abridged version of his larger work in Russian, published by the Sem Seminarium Kondakov Venium at Prague, 1931, Masterpieces of Russian Painting, London, 1930, contains short essays by several writers and studies of icons, Cleaned since the revolution. Maratov P. Les Icons Russes, Paris, 1927. A short, useful, and well illustrated summary. Ro L. Les Art Russe, Volume 1, Paris, 1922. Contains a useful outline of the story of icon painting. Rice D. Talbot, The Beginning of Russian Icon Painting, London, 1938. A lecture on the relations with the Byzantine world. Wolf O. and Alpatov M. Deckenmaler der Iconen Malari Leipzig, 1925. A magnificent volume dealing with the major works of Byzantine and Russian worlds. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a quick little look at this little book. I got it for free um, some time ago. It's just been sitting kind of on my little table by my bed and I thought I'd make a great um, little short video so I could upload some content for you guys and I'll get back on in time when my children leave um, and return back to their mother's house I plan on doing 
some more extensive work and readings. I got a lot of really good electronic um, books and whatnot lately. Um, normally, I like to stick with the tactile stuff, but I think there's a good opportunity to do some readings and research, and I look forward to that as I'm going to be trying to maybe write a few things and move eventually towards publishing some stuff soon. Um, it's been a long, long time, um, so I'd like to get some stuff published and move forward in that direction, um, have some extra time due to this pandemic thing, and uh, I'm trying to keep my mind on positive things instead of everything else that's been going on that's like chaotic and crazy. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little short uh, look at this book. I'm going to have my tea and spend some time with my children and retire for the evening. So this is Justin William Savoy. As always, you can reach me at SavoyJustin123 at gmail.com. That's S-U-V-O-Y-J-U-S-T-I-N at gmail.com. I'd be happy to... Um, correspond with anyone who would like to open a dialogue about any of the content on these videos. Uh, I look forward to uploading some content for you all soon. And uh, wherever you are, I hope that you're well. Peace.